Welcome, Cardinal Carl here. It's time we discuss your benefits, specifically the Benefit Details tile within Cardinal ESS. The Benefit Details tile is where you'll go to view and edit your benefits information. Let's jump right in, shall we? As usual, navigate to my.cardinal.virginia.gov to log in. But you knew this already, right? Let's click on the Benefit Details tile to begin. The first page available is the Benefits Summary page. Here you will find all of the benefit information regarding your current enrollments. You can view additional details on any of your current enrollments by clicking on the corresponding row. Click on the Medical Benefit box to view those additional details. Here you can see more detailed information regarding your medical benefit elections, like the plan name, plan provider, coverage, and group number. You can also use the link listed next to Plan Provider to navigate to the vendor's website and review more information about your plan. In addition, any covered dependents will be shown here. Click the Benefit Summary tab to return to the Benefit Summary page. The As Of field allows you to view any previous benefit enrollment selections you had in the past by changing the date. Now, click on the Life Events tab. Here is where you will start any of the four self-service life events listed. In addition, if you want to add or remove a dependent from your benefit enrollments, you must do so through a life event. For more information on how to submit a life event, watch my amazing life event video. Click on the Dependent Beneficiary Info tab to continue. Here you will find the information of the dependents you currently have in the Cardinal system. To view or edit the dependents information, Click on the corresponding row. Now you can view the dependent's information. Through this page, you can edit their personal information, address, national ID, phone number, and or email address. Click on the address to edit the information. Here you can change the yes to a no next to the same as mine field. Now you can edit the dependent's address. For this example, we are going to leave the dependent's address as yes for the same as mine field. Let's click on Cancel to continue. To add a phone number for the dependent, click on the Add Phone button. Change the No next to the Same as Mine field to Yes by clicking on it. Now click on the Type field and select the type of phone number you want to use for the dependent. For this example, we selected Home and the number auto-populated from what is on record. Now click Done to continue. You have now updated the dependent's information. Click Save to continue. Let's now click on the Benefits Enrollment tab. Here you will find the status of the benefit events you have submitted. If we had submitted a life event recently, you will see the event description, event date, and event status. You will also be able to re-elect any benefit elections for that event. I have an entire video just on open enrollment. So if you want to learn more about that process, head on over to it and take a look. Now let's view the benefit statements. This page shows all of the available benefit statements that have been submitted and finalized. Click on the drop-down box next to statement type. For this example, we will first view confirmation statements. All of the available confirmation statements will appear here. You can arrange them by event date or issue date. Click on the confirmation statement to view additional details. Click on Expand All to view the additional details. Here you can view all of the benefit elections associated with this confirmation statement. To exit this view, click on the X at the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's view a different statement type. Click on the drop down box next to statement type. Now we will view all of the submitted enrollment. Here you can also filter by event date and issue date. Click on the first submitted enrollment line to view additional details. Again, click on Expand All to view all of the additional details. Both types of benefit statements can be printed. To print, click on the Print View button. The Print View page opens up in a separate tab. Here you can print the benefit statement selected. To exit, close the tab by clicking on the X icon at the top right hand corner of the tab. And that's it! 
you have had your tour through the amazing world of benefit details. You now know how to review your current benefits, view your dependent or beneficiary information, and to print your benefit statements. Nice work, and thanks for watching. I will see you again soon to show you even more extraordinary functionality in Cardinal ESS.